hour ago on, on, on a little um, e emergency. And oh, hold on, hold on. Here he, uh, here, here he is now. It's Larry's secretary. She's called three times. Uh, here, uh, come on, Mary. You, you, we better go upstairs and lie down. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, but I had a little um, emergency here. But what's up? You're kidding. You're not kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, look, Millie, uh, you've got to get to him and tell him not to bring Ferber out here because... You, they left 45 minutes ago? Uh, go goodbye, Millie. Larry's coming here? No, with the client. Whoa. Oh, that can't be them. Uh, well, I suggest you don't uh, wait around to find out. Just disappear. Darren, you know my witchcraft isn't functioning. Well, you've got those dumb wings. Use them. Okay. <laughs> Darren, I tried to call I know, you, but... I know, I know. Now, well, how are you, Mr. Ferber? Well, considering the traffic and the smog we had to cut through, not too good. But Kate tells me you've got a great idea in the oven. I'm sure it'll perk me up. Uh, well, yes. <laughs> but, but, but at the moment, it's only half-baked. <laughs> If that's a joke, I don't get it. It's a bad joke. Hey, Darren, are you set up in the den? Oh, uh, yes, but I... Come on, Mr. Ferber. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Ferber. Uh, uh, well, I mean... Well, it's, it's against my principles to show unfinished work. And Mr. Tate knows it. It's just not fair to me, and it's not fair to the ideas. Did you drag me through all that smog for this? Uh, Darren, this morning you told me you were on the trail of a terrific idea. And you didn't even want to stop to talk. What happened to it? I'm... I'm still on the trail, and I'm still not ready to talk about it. <laughs> Is the traffic as bad on the way back? <laughs> temperament. <laughs> Just remember, I pay for results, not temperament. Dad? Is that Larry you're talking to? No, that's right, honey. Wow, I asked him to come in. What? She wants us to come in. Oh. <laughs> Sam! Well, look at that! Very good! You sly devil! Plain obstinate just to build up the suspense, eh? Mr. Ferber, you'll never guess what's hidden under this reducer later of yours. <laughs> One of the loveliest ladies I know. Sam, this is Mr. Ferber. Oh, oh, how do you do? Mr. Ferber? Uh, Darren and I were just doing a little research on your product. He always insists upon that. Well, that's the first thing I've heard here today that makes sense. Uh, yes, I, I frequently find that actual use of a product will inspire an ad campaign. Well, only the inspirations. What do you have to show us? Well... Incidentally, Mr. Ferber, uh, Darren was explaining that you can wear the reducilator while you do your housework. Yes, that's the idea. He said you can whittle away the pounds as you work. Remember? Oh, yes. Uh, that's one thought I had. Whittle while you work. <laughs> now, I know you fellows always pitch your second best first, so uh, let's not waste time on strategy. <laughs> Mr. Ferber, you really know every trick in the book, don't you? Okay, Darren, give him number one. Right, number one. 